Today we're going to make carbonara pasta. So that's me putting our pasta in water to boil and then after that we're gonna cook some bacon. I'm putting a little bit of paper towel there so like that when I transfer the bacon it can pick up all the grease. Make sure your bacon is nicely cooked and very crispy. Once our bacon is done, I transfer them to the paper towel and rinse my pot. We're going to add a little bit of butter so we can make our bechamel. You know I'm a lover of garlic so of course I'm putting some garlic and after that I'm going to put a little bit of flour and once that's cooked I'm going to add the onions and the bell pepper and uh, cook everything thoroughly. Make sure you let your flour cook through and get that brown color so like that it doesn't taste too floury. Also checking to make sure my pasta is not overcooked. That's me adding my heavy cream and after I'm done adding my heavy cream, I'm going to add my carnation milk. Uh, it's your option if you want to add carnation milk. I just love carnation milk so I'm of course going to add it in there. You can choose whatever cheese you want to use for your bechamel. It just I love the cheese that I have been using lately, um, but the choice is yours. Any cheese is fine as long as white cheese, so like that he stay like a nice white color for the carbonara. I added some ricotta cheese in there, and then I put some seasoning and stir and taste. Make sure you're always tasting your food, so like that you guys can always know what's missing and what's need to be added. So that's my cheese. I grated my cheese. Now I'm pouring in there. Usually I use as aged Asiago cheese, but I did not have the aged Asiago cheese or the aged Parmesan cheese that I usually use. So I end up using a different sh uh, Vermont sharp cheddar cheese and a regular sharp cheddar cheese, I believe it was. But you can use whatever cheese. Once my sauce is ready, I add it in there and then I'm going to stir it, making sure it's nicely coated. Let it simmer for a minute or two. And then after that, we're going to like serve it and make it all pretty And voila, the end result. Oh my God, this looks so gorgeous. The smell of it is just immaculate and it is so nice and it's so cheesy. You can never go wrong with cheese. Trust me on that. Once everything is done and you plated, you add your bacon for the topping and then you just enjoy. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one.